my name is David Atkins. And yeah. I am Chuck Huber. <laughs> yes, you are. I am robot Chuck Huber. I'm not really a robot. <laughs> Conventions are the best way to spread your new work. I love uh, anything that comes out of this sort of culture and bubbles up to the surface, I think is perfect because it just creates more and more uh, sort of uh, imaginative space for all of us to play. Things like Etsy, um, take away uh, from giant corporations like Walmart, because you Deviant can, Art. Deviant Art. Uh, even Airbnb now, like like they're starting to hurt hotel chains. Like New York tried to New York and New Jersey tried to lobby to keep Airbnb out of New York and New Jersey, right? Because right. it hurts the hotel chains. But guess what? We stayed at an Airbnb in Austin, just the other the same price as it would have been for a hotel, right? Right. Except right. that it had toys for kids and a piano and a yard and a, things that are interactive. Yeah. And so yeah. it's like, and I'd much rather give the money to like this is a family with an extra room in their right. house. So like conventions, you get a table, you get an idea, you love the idea strong enough until every, you find all the other people who love it just like you do. I always say if you find something you would do without ever getting paid for it for the rest of your life and bring it to this culture, the culture will, you'll eventually find the other people who love it just like you do. That this culture, people think there's this real serious barrier to entry. No, the only barrier to entry is to, number one, produce something. And then number two, don't be afraid to refine it and make it better and better and better until it's awesome. Yeah. Listen to, you know, the feedback from the people you trust and keep refining your product until it's amazing. Yeah. And, and that's the way my, my editor and my artist both looked at this and said, this is going to be epic. This ain't going to be just something... This is going to be mainstream. This is going to actually go big. And so I was looking at it going, okay, do y'all really see this actually? Because me as a writer, right. I'm sitting here going, okay, I just see the book. Right. But they saw this and go, this is so much more. Now, with that being the case, do you see the nerddom in here and see some of these people with their artistry going that far? Yeah. I mean, I see it all the time. Yeah, absolutely. And the, the thing is you can, you can um, create something and then keep refining it and, and shopping it and showing it to people. And eventually it becomes successful. Like, I always have to let go of the idea of success and just focus on what I think is yeah, successful yeah. in that day's work. Exactly. Like, what is successful for a day of work? Is it writing two pages? Is it drawing, uh, you know, another half of a character? For right, me, it's... Right. It's uh, some writing stuff I've got going on and some film stuff, you know, little task list things like, you know, am I accomplishing what I need to do as an artist? Because that's what makes you feel good in the short term. The sort of long-term accolades that come later on, those, um, like, the first time I got any sort of actual accolades for anything I did, it came as a total shock. Oh, yes. And a surprise. I, I never that. knew it was coming. Yes. Never knew anybody was going to care about anything I did. And then suddenly you're signing autographs and you're like, oh, my God. It's interesting because conventions used to be the place where like stars went to die or whatever, and now right. it's a it's like written in their contracts that they have to go to Comic Con or New York Comic Con or whatever. But right. the the really interesting thing for parents is that if you're going to send your children somewhere, uh, and this is like bare bones, being you know like straight up honest, they're in a hotel. They're not driving anywhere. If there's going to be drinking, they're not going anywhere. And yeah, there's drinking. The adults who are over 21 drink. There's a lot of loud music sometimes. <laughs> loud music. But you know what? I, I was in at Oticon in Baltimore, 40,000 people filling all the hotels. Oh, yes. There. But yeah. none of the hotels, yeah. like, ne there wasn't vomit everywhere. There wasn't broken furniture. Everyone behaves really respectfully. And if you're, you're going to send your children into a world where you want them to be safe, this is actually one of the more safer places. This is very safe. And I, I, I love the Democrat. I mean, I'm sorry. 
most of the people that come to this thing, it almost feels like family because you yeah. see them all the time. It is. It's the same family all over the world. I've been to Dublin and Poland and Australia, a lot of different places, and the anime community is exactly the same all over the world. This is Chuck Hubert. I am Dr. Bones McCoy on Star Trek Continues. Check it out. Episode 4 and 5 coming out sometime. I know we're premiering episode 4 at Phoenix Comic Con, so join us. Live long and prosper.